The Creator, 2023. The movie commences with advertisements showcasing the integration of artificial intelligence into American society, promising enhanced convenience for humanity. Fast forward to the year 2055, a nuclear warhead devastates Los Angeles, attributed to the U.S. government's AI creation, resulting in the incineration of over a million people. The military initiates a nationwide mission to eliminate all AI, encountering opposition from New Asia, where the remaining AI are sheltered as fellow citizens. The USS Nomad, North American Orbital Mobile Aerospace Defense, a colossal space station, is deployed to scan for AI remnants on the ground and hunt down the elusive Nirmata, the alleged creator of the AI. A decade into the crisis, Sergeant Joshua Taylor, played by John David Washington, resides in Koh Nong, New Asia, with his pregnant wife Maya, played by Jimma Chan. Maya, having a closer connection to AI than Joshua, and Joshua himself sporting a prosthetic arm and leg, live a life fraught with secrecy. Their home is infiltrated at night by a team of droid officers led by Haroon, Ken Watanabe, who bring in a soldier, played by Sturgill Simpson. Joshua privately interrogates the man, only to discover it's his friend and commanding officer, Drew. Joshua is undercover in his marriage, with officials suspecting Maya is Nermita's daughter. During an external raid, Maya learns the truth about Joshua and escapes on a boat. However, an explosive dropped by Nomad lands among her group, seemingly killing her, witnessed by Joshua, the creator. Five years later, Joshua toils in the cleanup efforts at Ground Zero in Los Angeles. During a patrol, he and his partner encounter a sentient droid, which they deactivate. Joshua, reminiscing about his time with Maya, grapples with the haunting memories of their past. Joshua is approached by General Andrews, Ralph Anesson, and Colonel Howell, Allison Janney. They claim to have gathered intelligence that Nirmata is working in New Asia to develop a superweapon that can potentially destroy Nomad, so they are recruiting Joshua to help stop them. He is ready to refuse until Howell shows him a holographic video indicating that Maya is still alive and working at the facility where the weapon is being developed. Joshua is then told he is the only one who remembers the layout of the lab and can not only help win the war, but also see his wife again. Joshua joins a crew heading toward New Asia, led by Howell. She tells Joshua about her personal resentment for the AI due to losing her sons in the war. The soldiers antagonize the villagers before storming the lab, firing at the technicians before advancing. Joshua splits from the team and comes across a room where he finds the weapon, a little robot girl, Madeline Univoils, watching cartoons. Before Joshua can apprehend her, a woman guarding the child shoots at Joshua and orders the girl to run. A gunfight occurs between New Asia's forces and Nomad's mercenaries. Joshua manages to catch up to the girl and gets her into a boat to escape. The child. Joshua and the child end up in a deserted area by the lake, along with a wounded soldier named Shipley, Robbie Tan, who eventually dies. He finds the girl inside a house watching TV, where he witnesses her using her power to remotely control electronics. Noticing an Alpha Omega symbol engraved in her head, Joshua names the child Alfie. Joshua gets in touch with Howell, who orders him to bring the child to her. They are found by an adult droid that is amazed at seeing Alfie. While the droid promises not to kill Joshua, he reaches for a gun on the floor, prompting Joshua to shoot him. This alerts nearby droid forces to that area. They fire upon the house until Joshua hops into a van with Alfie and drives away. Howell and her subordinate McBride, Mark Menchaka, ride in a van where they kill a droid officer and use his body when they find Shipley's body after Joshua disposed of him and upload his consciousness to the droid with a limited amount of time to find out that Joshua has the child. Joshua and Alfie hitch a ride with a family after having to leave the van. At night, they pass through a checkpoint where Alfie uses her power to shut down the authorities' electronics. Joshua has to take over the van when they start shooting at them, but they manage to escape, despite the accompanying family being mortified. The friend. Joshua and Alfie then take a train going into the city after avoiding detection. On their way, Alfie asks Joshua about heaven, to which he says he won't go there because only good people go there. They arrive to meet Drew, who now lives with his own robot girlfriend Cami, Veronica No. Drew has since changed his mindset on the AI community and works with Joshua and Cami to examine Alfie. It is determined that Alfie has not reached the full potential of her powers and can become the most powerful being alive with the ability to remotely control any piece of technology from anywhere on the planet. Later, a knock is heard at the door after Cami orders ice cream for Alfie, 
but it turns out to be a bomb and it kills Cammy. New Asian authorities begin to fire upon the group. Before they can try to kill Alfie, Joshua manages to disable the droid officers. More officers, now joined by Howell and McBride, arrive and continue to attack. Drew is gravely wounded, but before he dies, he helps Joshua find Maya's beacon, as well as letting her know that Maya herself is near Mata. Joshua and Alfie run, but are captured by a team of soldiers led by Haroon, the mother. Joshua wakes up on a ship where he is locked in a cell. Haroon speaks to him and tells him that the Los Angeles warhead was a man-made coding error that was blamed on the AI, as well as how Maya became near Mata after her father, the original near Mata, died. While he says that AI would never harm humanity, Haroon says he will also not bring Joshua to near Mata. Outside, the AI begin to panic as they realize they are being followed. Joshua escapes his cell and gets shot at, forcing him to jump into the water, but he holds on the ship's hull. After the ship arrives at a village, Joshua sneaks his way to find Alfie and recover her. Suddenly, Howell and her forces arrive to attack the village, utilizing gigantic machines along with a suicide bomb robot that runs into the village to detonate. A second suicide robot runs across the bridge, but Alfie walks in front of it and uses her power to shut it down. McBride then shoots Alfie, breaking the connection as the robot blows up the bridge. McBride attempts one last shot to finish off Alfie, but Joshua kills him first. Haroon guides Joshua to bring Alfie to a temple where Maya is after Alfie is taken care of. Joshua discovers that Maya has been in a coma for the last five years, and since the robots cannot harm near Mata, they are unable to take her off life support. Joshua also learns that Alfie is based off of his and Maya's unborn child, who was scanned in the womb, essentially making Alfie their daughter. Joshua looks at his wife once more before pulling the plug himself. Howell and her goons then arrive at the temple and try to bring Joshua and Alfie in. Haroon throws a bomb at Howell, but Alfie manages to stop the detonation, to Howell's surprise. Unfortunately for her, her two goons try to shoot at her, and before Howell can call them off, the bomb kills all three of them. As more forces arrive to attack, Haroon tells Joshua that Nomad must be destroyed in order for the war to end. On their way out, Joshua and Alfie are taken by droid officers. Joshua and Alfie are brought back to Los Angeles, where Andrews orders Joshua to kill Alfie. They appear to share a brief, tearful final moment before Joshua pulls the trigger. En route to the incinerator, news of anti-nomad protesters forming in the streets comes out. Then, the vans start to lose power and end up crashing in the street. Alfie is still alive and plan with Joshua to fake her death so they can escape. No. Oh.